Hello, uh, Aquarium Fish Keepers. Today I have another case to explain to you uh, about an ornamental fish. Well, we have so many ornamental fish who can become sick and I will share my screen and show my PowerPoint about a harlequin tetras, the harlequin resboras. And these fish were, well, they were suffering. Uh, we found two parasitic infections and you know, this can be a case that is common for many fish keepers because those are two common parasitic infections which we found. Here you see the fish swimming in a fish tank at a wholesaler and you see that some of the harlequin rasboras are very itchy behavior. See them swimming here, they're getting skinny. Some are getting darker in color which is, is uh, not a normal behavior. And I will show it again here in the video so you can see more uh, this abnormal behavior. It's important that you try to observe your fish in then these diseases uh, start to develop, those symptoms start to develop. It is to recognize your fish, like you look at this one here. This is a, not a normal behavior. So the fish will also not swimming properly. You will see also they will, some will hang at the surface, getting skinny. Their eating behavior will be not so good. Some will eat less. So you see some getting separated from the group here, getting dark. And, and well, this fish is telling you with their body language and their behavior that is something is wrong. And with our eyes or naked eyes, we don't observe any particular disease like fin rot or tail rot or spots or velvet or anything like that. But they're abnormal behavior. But luckily, we have a microscope, and this can help us to, to see what we cannot see with the naked eyes. And look at see here these organisms dark here on the tail. We cut off a piece of the tail and we observe these organisms. And I could take you to the other slide where I show you with the video. Uh, the uh, magnification is uh, is about 200, 150, 200 magnification. And you see these darker bodies here, which is velvet, oodinium. It is a parasite. And also we see some costia parasites. See the small twinkling little parasites here in the water. Uh, this is now called ichthyoboda, which is the, the new name. See them here. Here is one. There is one. Here is one, there are many. So there are two different kinds of parasites uh, having an impact uh, on the health of the fish. And that's why the fish was itchy, was behaving abnormal. Uh, uh, they will eat less and they will become sick. And afterwards they were getting lesions, wounds, uh, they're getting tail rot, which are secondary infections. So what I explain to you here that we found two unicellular parasitic infections, piscinodinium or velvet disease, and the ichthyobodo or the ex costia parasites. Like I told you, bacterial infections can become a secondary infections, which also might have to be treated if you have waited too long to treat these parasitic infections. And here I would recommend uh, as a treatment the formalin and copper sulfate combination together with salt. Salt three to four or five grams a liter can help and certainly in my experience, uh, did show good results. And you need to treat it at least for seven days and follow the dosage recommended in my books or uh, the products which are supplied in, in the pet shop. So follow the directions because like Odinium needs to at least be treated with different treatments during seven days. Another thing I have to make as a remark, be careful not to spread this velvet disease to other aquaria with nets, with your hands, anything like that. And as a last resort or a very good help, we have our Dr. Baslier biofish food matrine that helps the fish to fight off parasites, fight off uh, uh, like odinium that it doesn't like to attach to the skin, to the mucus of the skin and the gills. At least treat 20 days with this food and use no other food and it will help the fish to defend themselves together with a medication. So I hope this case helped you. In the background, you see beautiful Casaras in Spain. I want to show you. This is uh, a beauty of an area which I like to spend my vacation. The clouds were coming in 
from the sea. Here is the ocean in the back. Africa is in the back. So this is one of my favorite spots where I sometimes do my work and some vacation. So thank you for watching this case and more cases to come. Uh, I'll tell you in the, in the coming videos, I will, uh, I will show you. Okay, thank you for watching.